So now we'll be defining the sectional properties. So first we'll just change the units to kilonewton and meter. And then I'll click on section properties. Add. So here we go to the PSC tab, pre-stressed concrete tab. And over here, I'll just show you the cross section first. So this is the cross section which we will be using at the mid location. So this cross section is a single cell section. So we can feed the details of this cross section using PSC tab. So I'll just switch on some joints. So I'll switch on join J01, JI1, JI3 and JI5. I'll give the name section and then I'll just enter these outer dimensions as per this diagram over here. So HO1 as 0.2 meters, HO2 as 0.3 meters, HO21 as null value, HO3 as 2.5 meters, BO1 as 1.5 meters, BO11 as 0.5 meters, VO2 again as 0.5 meters and VO3 as 2.25 meters. Again, for the inner portion of the box girder, HI1 is 0.24 followed by HI2 is 0.26. Again, HI21 is 0, HI3 is 2.05, HI31 is 0.71. HI4 is 0 0.2, again HI41 is 0 and HI5 is 0 0.5, followed by BI1 is 2.2 meters, BI11 is 0 0.7 meters, BI21 is 2.2 meters, BI3 is 1.932 meters and BI31 is 0 0.7 meters. Again, I'll just check on these auto options. So what it will do is it will calculate the thicknesses for shear and torsional check at the three locations, Z1, Z2, and Z3. I'll change the offset for modeling this box further to center top. When you click on display offset point, so it will show you the modeling offset is this red point. And click on OK. You click on show calculation results. So this is the cross-sectional property of the box girder. Then click on apply. So this cross-sectional property gets added. Simply, I can change the name to support section. So I'll just show you the support section first. So this is the support section, the thicker section. So this again, we can just alter the inner dimension and we can define this. So we we'll just alter this inner dimensions. So here HI1 is 0.44. HI2 remains same. HI21 remains same. HI3 changes to 1.65. And HI5 changes to 0.45, BI1 changes to 2 meters, BI11 remains same, BI21 changes to 2 meters, BI3 changes to 1.732 meters. So then the definition the inputs for the inner dimensions are complete. You click on show calculation results, so this corresponds to the property of cross section. As a support location, click on OK and click on Apply. So this whole section also gets added. Further, I'll be defining the diaphragm section. So this is the diaphragm section. So I'll be defining with a opening of one meter by one meter at the center. So I'll just alter the inner dimensions. First, I will just switch off these joints, JI1, JI3, and JI5, I'll switch off. And then 
I will change these dimensions Hi1 to 1 meters, Hi2 will be 0, Hi3 again will be 1 meters, Hi4 will be 0 and Hi5 will be 1 meters. Bi1 will be 0 0.5 meters and Bi3 again will be 0 0.5 meters. So this completes this section definition. I will change the section name to diaphragm and click on OK. So this gets added. After this, we will be defining the tapered sections. So for defining tapered sections, click on Add. I'll go to Tapered tab. It's like the same section which we have defined, PSC1 cell. I'll be selecting PSC1 cell. So from here, name, I will give this tapering section name as mid to support. I'll import size i as mid section. Click on import. I'll scroll down. Click on size j import. And I'll import the support section at j location. Click on import. Again, the variation for the tapering is linear in y and z direction. I'll change the offset again for this section as center top and click on OK. When you click on show calculation results, it will show you the results at ith end and jth end to cross section. Click on OK. Then when we click on apply, so this section gets added. Same way, I will just change the name to support to the mid section. And now my size I change to support section and scroll down and change size J to mid section and click on apply. So this gets added. We'll be adding the peer cap sections. For peer cap section also, we are taking tapered sections. So the tapered rectangle is what we're going to take. So from tapered sections, I'm changing this to tapered solid rectangle. I'll give the name peer cap left sections. So here at ith end, the size will be 2 by 1.5 meters. And j at end, depth will be 1.25 meters and width remains as 1.5 meters. Again, I'll change the unit uh, offset for this section as in the top. Click on OK and click on apply. So this is peer cap left section. Similarly, I'll just change for the right end, change the name, dimensions, and just interchange them. So at i at end, the depth will be 1.25 meters, the j at end, depth will be 2 meters. Click on apply. And then finally, I'll be defining one peer section. So I'll be switching over to database user type input. And simple rectangular section I'll be inputting for the peer. So solid rectangle name I'll give peer. Click on user and I'll just give the dimensions for the peer 1.5 by 1.5 meters. I'll not change the offset as this is the vertical number. So I'll keep this offset center center only. And I'll click on OK. So these are the cross sections which we are going to use for the modeling.